Yo, your boy's officially in the star program, okay? Enter code SWEEPY when you're buying Robux and you know what I'm saying? Help the boy out, okay? So if you don't know how to enter it, let me show you, okay? So basically on your homepage, you want to go up here, click on buy Robux. Whenever you buy Robux and you're over here, you know, click on the amount, whatever amount is perfect for you. And then right here, it says click here, add a star code, type in code SWEEPY. Add. Jeez, simple. Yo, so uh, you guys, uh, you know, what I'm saying, you notice anything different? You know, what I'm saying, we got a, uh, we got a nice little character now. You know, what I'm saying, so basically my character that I have right here, as you guys can see, or my profile picture, I got it made by somebody. Shout out to Yan, bro, because these literally look so amazing, and I could not thank the boy enough. So shout out to Yan. As you guys can see, you know, your boy's at 142k. It's pretty good. You know, what I'm saying, very good actually. You know, but I'm trying to hit 150k by next week. Okay, so if you guys can subscribe to your boy, that mean the world to me. Okay, because I'm trying to hit. 200k by the end of the year so i mean yeah let's just get straight to it though this video is basically going to be me fusing all the soaring on in the entire game so we got we got custom soaring on which is the regular soaring on we got itachi mangekyo we got shisui mangekyo and we got obito's mangekyo this is what we got so far you know what i'm saying but as of right now what we got is itachi obito shisui and the regular soaring on so we about to combine all of them into one and see what we can get out of it as you guys know though you know the boy is shisui in closed community so obviously i'm gonna be using that one a bit more i mean just because you know what i'm saying that that's like you know my little kage spec or whatever you know so i'm gonna definitely be mixing that in a bit more just a bit i'm probably gonna use that susano over the custom susano and then yeah we might just go crazy with it i don't know you're the only one I can count on, my best friend. Protect the village and the Uchiha name. Shisui! Wait! Shisui! Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully having a good day today. So as you guys see from the title, your boy's about to be going over all the Sharingans in game right now, okay? I'm basically gonna be doing this every single time a new Sharingan comes out. So uh yeah, yeah, don't don't get tired of these videos, you know what I mean? Like every time a new Sharingan comes out, we about to be mixing and matching all of them. Okay, we about to see what works, what doesn't work. And yeah, first of all, I'm gonna show you guys all the moves for them. So let me show you guys right now. I got CCs right here. I actually got Renegon right here. I should probably change that. Uh, over here, I got what's it called? This is just regular sharing gun or custom sharing gun and then right here your boy got itachi's mangekyo sharing gun okay so we're only missing obito's that's on kg slot two so let's go into mastery real quick let me uh, you know what i'm saying let me find obito's ms let's see uh that's itachi obito all right so kg slot two bam oh i should have damn i should have screenshot my uh my moves oh my god <laughs> i should have screenshot but as y'all see we got all the starring on okay so <laughs> on this part right here we got four showing on hey man we about to go crazy with it okay i think i'm gonna save she sweets for last just because uh you know that's my favorite one you know what i'm saying so i think we're gonna start off with obito let me equip those real quick ah let me equip that okay yes sir yes sir oh actually i don't think this gives you speed oh it does give you speed boost. oh snap Oh, it's not. When this first came out, it gave you, like, no speed boost whatsoever. Oh, okay, okay. So, actually, Obito's got buffed pretty got pretty nicely, honestly. Uh, a lot of you guys complained about it being trash, but it got buffed pretty, very, very nicely, actually. Like, the second move used to kind of fl fling their characters. Whoever you'd be fighting, it would kind of fling them so you wouldn't be able to combo them. But now, I now, it don't fling them. It keeps them in place. So, here's the second move, for example. You can just come over here and just start comboing them up. Like, it's literally... A very very good move now obviously the first move too the first move is uh <laughs> first move's always been good but now it's uh it's a bit more annoying it has i think the ranges for both moves got buffed as well obviously they're npc so they, they don't get teleported into the comedy dimension but i think um i think what's the goal i think uh the range for both moves got buffed as well the only thing that people com were complaining about they just kept saying like uh it's trash because like it takes stamina and stuff and like the stamina is good because you shouldn't be able to just infinitely sit, <laughs> like, just sit there and, like, you know, you could literally just get all your health back. Like, if you're if you're getting your ass beat, you just pop the move and get all your health back just like that. And you can even still do that now, realistically. Like, so this is the third move. Let's say I get my ass beat, okay? Like, I can literally just sit here and wait until my health comes back. Obviously, you can't charge up, though. And it doesn't take that much stamina, either. So... You can still do that. You can also run, you know, like, you can do... This, this move is nice. The cooldowns also got lowered as well. So, Obito's got a pretty nice buff, honestly. I, I heard a lot of you guys saying it was trash, but uh, they buffed it, so it's not even that bad no more. It's actually pretty good. It's still... I wouldn't say it's, um... I don't know. It's, it's still good. I, I don't I don't really know if it's as good as Itachi's, though, but it's still pretty good, though. So, now let's show you guys the C-Spec. C-Spec is actually pretty nice. They changed it, so now the C-Spec is this one right here so now you know you can run really fast in this combi dimension so again it takes stamina as well but you can if you're getting your ass beat you can still just run you can just come in this dimension come back out and then you'll, you'll be good 
Like literally, it's the LB tells is actually some heat now. So now let me show you guys the uh, what's it called? The starring on or the Susano stages. So C3. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Alright, so let me see. Does the Q spec or does, does the C spec change at all or is it the same? Uh oh, it's on cooldown. Alright, let's see. Alright, it's the same. It's the same. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you run even faster in here too. I wonder, does this stack? You guys let me know. Does this stack with your gen cloak speed as well? Because you'd be flying fast if, if that was the case. If it stacked with your gen speed. You'd be uh, kind of OP, you know? Alright, so here's the Q spec for it. Kind of has like some combo shuriken. You can come over here, start whooping some ass. Wow, so like it's it's it, it's busted, though. It's busted. And then you can do this as well. Oh, oh, okay. You see this range? You see 38k damage. Oh, we told this some heat! Oh, we told this is actually really, really good now. Like they even gave it a speed boost as well when you activate it, because at first it didn't have a speed boost. Now it does. So, oh, we told this is good. Like. <laughs> It's definitely really good now. I feel like if you use it right, you'll definitely be able to be like very OP with this. Like, <laughs> Obito, do not sleep on Obito's because of how it was at first. Because it's not anything like how it was at first now. It's, it's, it's a lot stronger now than it was when it first dropped. So, yeah, Obito's is still really good. Now, moving on to uh, regular Sharingan. Okay, custom Sharingan. Let me equip that. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Let me activate this. Here we go. All right, bet. So, let's go over here. <laughs> All right. So, first up for the first move for a Sharingan is, uh, as you can see, it's copy will. But none of these people have, uh, what's it called? None of these people have their Jutsus above their heads. As you can see, there's a little thing right there. So, usually, you'd be able to copy Jutsu and stuff with that. But, obviously, right now, uh, you know, they, ha they have no Jutsu ready. So, I can't copy anything. So, let me see. If You can copy, like, Tai Jutsu, Ninjutsu. Move. Oh, my God. Yo, chill, chill, chill. Oh, actually, maybe I have to have the... Oh, my Sharingan is on. Yeah. So, they just don't have any Jutsus on. Yeah, nah, they have no deuces, what? Yeah, but usually you'd be able to copy people's moves and stuff, so that's the first move. I, I don't really see people using that move too much. It's kind of underrated, but it's also hard to use, so, you know, I mean, it's also like, why would you even have this move on if you could have a few other moves on, on your Sharingan slot, or on your KG slot, you know, it just doesn't make sense, so, like, <laughs> most people just have a different move on, but the other two Sharingan moves are really, really good, especially the second move, the Genjutsu, oh my, oh my god, oh my god, right here. It can hit up to three people. Obviously, I wasn't close enough to the other two, but it can hit up to three people, and you can combo them up nicely with it, too. Obviously, you guys all know what the Genjutsu do in this game, especially Tsukuyomi. You guys know what the Genjutsu are about. Hey, yo, how'd that hit me? Like, it's pretty uh, it's pretty busted. It's pretty busted, you feel me? The Genjutsu always, always are busted because people are kind of stuck there for a second. And uh, how'd that miss? What? Okay, it only hit one guy. But yeah, like you, you can literally just combo them up, and some people know how to infinite combo and all that. Oh yeah, that's the C spec right there. Basically, if you're in that, if you're anywhere in that red circle that popped up around me, you'll uh, it's gonna show a Genjutsu effect. People don't really use that one too often, but it's still really good. That one's also underrated as well. And now for the third move, the best move for this Sharingan in my opinion is uh, what's it called? Auto dodge. So you press it before an attack hits you, like so, and you dodge everything literally dodging everything okay well i didn't dodge that but you know you know what i mean and cooldown is really short it's about eight seconds so it's uh this move is definitely definitely really really insane bro psych boy psych boy so yeah there's a weakness to it though is where if you just m1 them while they're doing it then uh they're they're basically uh kind of stuck in the combo so once they're done in the auto dodge once they're out of the auto dodge frames uh you can just start beating them up basically so yeah, I mean, auto dodge is still really good, though. Now moving on to the, you know what I'm saying, the CC. Oh, my God, yo. Wait, is that ice? Oh, my God. Yo, too. Okay. All right, yo, they going crazy. Now moving on to C6. But, bro. All right, so now you guys see your boy got a nice little Susano. Here's the M1s. It's uh, kind of OP. <laughs> just, just a bit. It does 10K per M1. Last well, hit does 13K. So, yeah, they're already dead from that as well. Mine has a, mine has a Q spec as well. Each of them have different Q specs. Mine is a sword. As you guys see, oh, it's kind of hard to see that, actually. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the H1, there's an arrow, there's a sword, and then there's a two-sword style. I have two swords. So, yeah, this is the first starring, or this is a custom starring gun. Now, moving on to Itachi starring gun. Let's go. I right, bam. Let me equip that, equip that, equip that, and then equip that. Okay. Okay, this one is actually, this one and c Suites are definitely uh, right next to each other, like, in terms of being just as strong as each other. They're really, really good. Very good. So, uh, let's go over here. Actually, let me, let me power down for a second, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, chill. First move, it's kind of like auto dodge, except this time you can like move around. So if he hits me, he he can't hit me like this at all. But then after after the animation is done, I teleport back to uh, where I was originally or where I first used the move. So it's actually very 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 good. Like it's really good. Uh, I feel, I low key feel like the first auto dodge, like the regular Sharingan's auto dodge, might be a bit better. Uh, maybe it's just because I know how to use that one a bit better. But the regular Sharingan's auto dodge is some 
There's some heat. This one is nice too, but like, I don't know. They can't hit you like this, but it's, oh, wow, he's, he got one tapped. All right, that's crazy. All right, second move. Obviously, you guys already know this move is, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, also drops a clone. It, uh, what's it called? The first move also drops a clone where you were at. So, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of messes up people's tracking on their on their ninjutsu or something. So it's very good. But uh, obviously, everyone knows the second move, okay? Second move, we got a nice little genjutsu, okay? 18K damage, and uh, you can just start comboing them up after that. And it's uh, it's just, bro, it's busted. It's, it's what you guys already know is busted. Genjutsu is always busted, okay? We know this. We know this. Oh, I did not mean to use that. Well, that's the C-Spec. <laughs> that's the C-Spec, though. The C-Spec is basically their character does a little sword thing. And uh, if it hits the opponent, it takes up their mode. I think stamina and chakra as well. So, obviously, it probably takes some health, too, just because it's supposed to do some damage. But it takes up mode, uh, chakra, and stamina. I'm pretty sure stamina, but I'm 100% sure mode and chakra. All right, so now last move, as you guys already know, okay, Amaterasu. Amaterasu is some heat, bro. Look at that. It auto tracks too. It auto tracks up to like three people if I'm not mistaken. Oh, psych boy, you see that? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, he's dead already. Rip. But yeah, so Amaterasu auto tracks up to, I'm pretty sure it's up to three people or maybe even more. It hits a lot of people at once. It's like, it's pretty, pretty busted. Hold on, I'm gonna reset because my mode is going down, you already know. And uh, yeah, like, like I said, the auto tracking on Amaterasu is some heat. It's really, really, really good, especially if there's like people all ganging up on you. You can just use that, and uh, you know, it's gonna, it's a good distraction move, does some pretty good damage as well. So, yeah, Itachi's, we already knew that was top tier. Like, we already knew. But Obito's, I had to let y'all know, it got buffed, and it's actually OP now, you feel me? You guys were, you know, you guys were clowning on Obito, but it's actually, uh, actually not bad anymore okay you know i just had to let you know and then here's the m1 for itachi the last thing for itachi in this form right here we got a little you know say oh i didn't mean to do that yeah we got the susano m1s yes sir yes sir Ooh, let me get up there and you guys already saw the c spec but let me do it again for the one time wow 48 was that 48 or 44k damn that's some crazy oh my god now moving on to the favorite okay my little favorite okay we got c suites Sharingan, she sees Mangekyo Sharingan, okay? It's my favorite one. This is the ability that I have in closed community or the story mode of a, uh, oh, snap, <laughs> oh, snap. That almost hit me, but yeah, this is the one I have in, uh, what's it called, the story mode version of Shinobi Life 2. And I, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm in love, <laughs> I'm in love. This KG is so nice. Only thing is though, one of the moves got severely nerfed. It might seem like a, what's it called, not, not too bad of a nerf, but it, I don't know, it kind of adds up, you feel me? It kind of adds up, like, so let me show you guys. So first of all, this is on different because this one has the X dash. So when you press X, as a teleporting thing. Usually the other ones, your character would just like kind of, kind of, kind of do a little side, side turning or something. But this one, nah, you TP. Kind of like with Lightning Cloak, you TP a little bit, which makes sense. You know, she's with the body flicker, it makes sense. So uh, yeah, first move. This one is uh, it got nerfed pretty bad because now it has hand sign. So in my opinion. I haven't used it enough to know, but like, it's kind of useless now. I might as well just put auto dodge on instead of this move. Even though it's really good for like, you know, distracting an opponent, the hand signs, before you could just use it and like, you'd be good because it, was, it works like auto dodge. So if somebody hit you, you know, you still be dodging everything. You still be dodging everything, but the hand signs kind of make it kind of eh. But you can still attack in it as well. So when you do that move, you can attack while you're in it. So they can't even hit you, but you can hit them. So it's really, really, really good. Very good, actually. <laughs> and then uh, second move, this one is a counter move. So basically, if somebody hits you with like, maybe even, uh, what's it called? Maybe a ninjutsu or uh, what's it called? Or a taijutsu, you can counter teleport behind them and it stuns them. So uh, c has got a nice in that regard. Hello? You see, he stuns them. So now he can't do any. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, let me try this. Yeah, you don't know where I am, but I can still hit you while I'm in here. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, so it's pretty, uh, you guys seen it. It makes clones as well. And uh, there's another thing you can do with that. You can uh, you can use Shadow Clone Jutsu, multi-Shadow Clone Jutsu while you're in that. And it just brings out more clones. So they're not going to know who they're fighting. They're not going to know what's going on. They're going to be confused, bro. They're going to be confused. Like, <laughs> you know, it's about to be insane, though. Like, uh, all right, guys. So now I'm going to show you guys the C-Spec. So basically for the C-Spec, it's kind of... It's good, but it's kind of uh, it's kind of interesting, right? So it basically makes your character look like he's dead on the opponent's screen or whoever you're fighting. It makes your character look like you died. But the only downside is it, they can still hit you even when you're gone. So like your character's gonna be dead, but you can still move around while they can't see you. There, you're gonna look like you're dead on their screen, but you're moving around. So right now my character's like right there and he's dead. I can still move around in here and I'll pop up right here. But the only downside is you can still get hit while you're in there. So I recommend putting down maybe one shadow clone so that maybe their moves auto track to the shadow clone instead of you. So that it makes, you know, it, it helps you out a bit more, you know. But the, the C-Spec is still very, very good. Now moving on to the last move though, you know what I'm saying. Hey, this move 
is a uh, well, it speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why is it? Oh snap! They got one tap. Uh, I was not expecting that to happen. I'm not gonna lie to you. I oh snap! I know they're about to get one shot. Yo, that's a uh, yeah. Koto Matsukami. It, it's busted. It's busted. It's busted. Let, let, let's be honest. It's supposed to be busted, but it's oh my god. It is, Jesus Christ. They got one tap. I mean, they're not players. They're NPCs, but still though, they got one tap. Oh snap! Rustin Shuriken Rust spawned in my server. That's crazy. Oh snap. Hey, I might give it to someone in my Discord, though, you know what I'm saying? So if you're in the Discord, I might I might let y'all know it's fun, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, so the last move, yeah, you guys saw, Koto and Matsukami is, uh, does this one tap them again? Oh, my God, that, that did some damage, that did, oh, killed one of them, it did one tap one of them. So if people are close enough together, all the, all the beams that come down can hit you, and, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be busted, it's gonna be busted, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be busted, they can't hit me like this. Now moving on to the Susano though, you guys all, we all been waiting for the Susano, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so as you guys see, your boy got the nice little Susano, hold on a second. Yeah, we got the nice drill as well, oh my god, man, yo, this Susano is too clean, bro. Jeez, alright, so this Susano, here's an M1s for it. Bow, 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 oh, he's already, he's already dead, oh my god, alright, <laughs> alright. So here's the Q-Spec for it, it just shoots out. It just shoots out, uh, you know, uh, little, little, little beams. Basically, it's pretty nice. It does a lot of damage if all of them hit as well. Uh, I think that's all for the Susano. Though I don't think it has any other moves for it. Yeah, I think this is a C spec. Obviously, it's the same thing we did before. Yeah. So Shisui's is definitely busted. I think Itasi's and Shisui's are definitely on the exact same level. It just really depends how you use both of them, and it makes sense though, because Itachi and Shisui were rivals in the show. So their KGs are rivals in game. Like they're really, really good. It just depends on how you use it. And uh, I mean, yeah, that's basically all the Sharingans in game right now. You guys already know. You know my favorite is Shisui. Let me know what your favorite is down below. I'm trying to. I'm trying to see all your favorites. Okay, let me know. So leave a comment and tell me what it is. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically it for this video. I'll see you all in the next video. Probably going to double upload today, so stay on the lookout for that. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video later.